Over the last 25 years, I've been able to visit some extraordinary places and attend some incredible events, and along the way I have met some amazing people. And on this journey, I get to visit one of Europe's most well-preserved historical cities. I'm your host, Michael Murphy, and this is Destination Unknown, Prague, Czech Republic. My first stop in this beautiful city finds me in the Old Town Square. Mentioned as early as the year of 10,091, this is the oldest part of the city and it makes for an excellent introduction into what Prague has to offer. Well, as you can see up here from the top, this view of the city is just that magnificent. It's, I'm getting a 360 degree panoramic view of Prague. Does it get any better than this? After capturing my first spectacular view overlooking the city of Prague, I made my way back down into the streets and slowly made my way over to the Prague Castle. Well, I've just hiked up here from Old Town, and I'm heading right up here to this tower to get another commanding view of the city of Prague. There's many different ways to explore Prague. All throughout the city, you'll find different businesses setting up to take you on bus tours or walking tours through the main area. But for me personally, the best way to see this historical city is simply to start walking around and meandering on these cobblestone streets. Continuing my journey along the ancient streets of this historical city, I've now made my way over to the Prague Castle. This is the most visited site in all of Prague, and it's easy to see why. The Prague Castle is the largest ancient castle in the world. Constructed in the 9th century, the castle has transformed itself from an old wooden fortress into the imposing site that it is today. I'm now in the Cathedral Vito. This is a beautiful cathedral on just outside of Old Town across the river. And I made my way in here because it's pouring rain outside. And just like they've done for the last thousands of years, people have seeked refuge in the church. I've now made my way inside and I'm gonna spend the next 20, 30 minutes just walking around exploring this beautiful church. Prague's lesser town, built on the slopes below the Prague Castle, was founded in 1257 and is one of the least affected parts of the city by recent history.
What an incredible afternoon I've just had. I've been walking around the streets of Prague all day. To tell you the honest truth, I'm absolutely beat. I got in really early this morning and have not stopped since I've got here. One of the things I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make my way across the Charles Bridge, which you can see here behind me. A walk across the Charles Bridge is without question one of the highlights of a visit to Prague. The foundation for the Charles Bridge was personally assisted by Charles IV on July 9, 1357. The bridge was originally called the Stone Bridge or the Prague Bridge, but has been known as the Charles Bridge since 1870. Oh, Prague's everything and more. It's beautiful. I didn't know anything about the city before coming, and um, it's wonderful. The museums are great. The art's great. The architecture is just absolutely unbelievable. It's, it's my first time out. It's my first time out of the States. I'm 23. It's my first time going anywhere. And um, you just you just have to go. You have to see it just to see how things work other places, how people are other places, and it really opens your eyes. As I've walked the streets of Prague today, I'm reminded once again of how incredibly fortunate I am to be able to visit beautiful places like this. With all of the wars that have happened here in Europe over the last several centuries, it's amazing that Prague has remained intact and it's a testament to the beauty. As for me, I could have easily spent a few more days exploring this incredible city, but it's time for me to once again continue on my journeys. And with that, my friends, I'll bid you farewell as Destination Unknown wraps up an incredible episode here in Prague. And as always, until we meet again, travel on.